Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. Today we're back in East Yorkshire, the year is 1862 and since we last saw each other I have moved on at the time a little bit. We don't want to be staying in this sort of really slow steam era for too long. There were quite a few people that asked, well hang on, what era you know, are we going to get to modern day? The plan is to get to modern day, folks, so don't worry about that. We're not going to stay in steam forever. Um, we might end up speeding time up, you know, stuff like that. Uh, a lot of this earlier on era, we're going to be spent on fast forward anyway, so we will get to the modern day. Please don't panic about that. And again, between episodes, I'm just going to sit with it on fast forward to sort of make a bit of money. I mean, if you have a look now, despite the fact we've only got 221 grand, I have paid half the loan off which means we've banked a cheeky little five million. We're making about one million every year. That year a little bit less. I'm not quite sure why. Is that because we, uh, we see investments? You would add. I don't know why that was so much less. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I have done a little bit of changing. So the trains always used to come to a stand here, waiting for the other one coming the other way. So I thought we could speed things up. I've double tracked the tunnel, and now it comes to a bit of single track at the other end. So that's the only changes that I've made. Uh, as I say, since we last saw each other. Now, uh, what I did want to do today is get this delivering some tools down to the Snaith Tools Factory. Uh, however, it might be a good idea just to start earning some money. There is also this little cheeky chap here from Ellaby Farm round to Beverly Food Processing Plant. And of course, then we've got uh, some goods running into Beverly. So although that was what I wanted to do, this might be a better idea just to get that money in the bank. You see what I mean? Do you think that makes sense? I think personally that does make sense, so it's what we're going to do. Now, because uh, obviously this is a dictatorship, uh, yes. Uh, so <laughs> let's, get that, uh, let's get that money borrowed and uh, we'll, we'll get that slapped in there. Where we are going here, we can actually, I think these are textured fields on this map, so we can actually build in the fields, which are good. I do like that, it has to be said. Uh, and we will go with a bit of freight there. 60 mile an hour, or should we go with 75? We'll go with 75. And we'll just go straight ahead, straight across the river, because we don't want to be spending any more time over the river. Ooh, that's lagging, flipping heck. What about that green bridge? Shall we... Uh, ooh, what's that? Now, you see, I keep trying to make that bridge, don't I? Oh, I like that. Uh, you see, I'm, I'm quite like Colonel Failure in the fact that I, I love the green bridge. After one of his episodes where he pointed out how brilliant the green bridge was, I, I just can't go back on it now. It's, it's green bridge or no bridge, isn't it, a lot of the time? Right, so you're going to bend around there. That's nice and straightforward, and actually we've managed to do that really cheaply, um, which, you know, is a bonus. Now, there were a couple of people that were worried as well that I was going to stick with one depot for the series. That's not what we're going to do. It was such a pain. I, I like the idea, but there's no denying it was a pain, wasn't it, having to uh, to stick with your own depot. So what we're going to do, we're, we're not going to do that again. Don't panic, everybody. Now I'm going to stick you on there. Because the good thing is, as well, is we can uh, we can transport food over to there, and then we can also transport, uh, sorry, grain over to there, and we can bring food back, and then do it by truck to Hornsey. Hornsey? Hornsey? I know it's Hornsey down south, isn't it? But here, uh, it might not be. I don't know. God, can you believe it? A Yorkshireman doesn't know the Yorkshire pronunciations. It's shocking, isn't it? Right, okay, so we are going to go with this London Northwestern pack because it's brilliant. Now I want something with lots of power. What's that? So that's 294, 210, 316. That is the one. I know it's got a slightly slower top speed, but I mean, heck, this is cargo. It's not the end of the world, is it? Twelve. Should we go with twelve? It can carry sixty. Let's do it. So we're going Ellaby to Beverly. So that will be train. Beverly Grain 1. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, let's get it on the uh, the Beverly Grain 1. 
And then we could also do, whilst we're here, I'm going to put them, uh, I'm going to put it in here. Tram track, no. Platforms one and one. This could be, actually, while I think about it, this could be our main freight hub for uh, for Hull and Beverly. Because these are two big places, aren't they? So that, that little station there, congratulations, you are going to be our main freight hub. You didn't know that, did you? But uh, yes, there we go. That's what you're going to be. So I quite like these wagons, and I'll tell you for why. You'll see in a moment. So they don't fill up with grain. I do prefer them to fill up with grain. But look, they fill up with bags of things. And then when they get full, you get a little cover on the top. Which means that you can transport grain in one direction, and then you can transport food the other way. The only problem is, is that if you don't have enough to fill the wagon, you don't get the little hopper on the top. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a bit of a trade-off. Now, each of these can carry five, which is why 12 coaches can carry 60, obviously. And, uh, and let's not forget as well, we do need, if we go around here, two grains to make one bread. So uh, this farm is going to create a heck of a lot of, uh, of grain. I can't help but think that it might have been a better idea to have done this from the off. In fact, I tell you what we're going to do. We don't want to lose any of the produce, so we're going to get the uh, get the, the building. There we go. Yeah, 30 metres, none of it. In fact, we'll, we'll put the platform on the other side so it's like they don't have to carry it as far. You know, I'm, I'm thoughtful. What's this? Why is it... Why have you done that? I, I never asked you to do that. Wait, what? <laughs> Why have you four and eight? No, hang on. Oh, this is a nightmare. Right, hang on. I've, I've just accidentally deleted some stops. So we just need to put this in. There we go. Broadway to Beverly. Need to get some trucks on it. Quick, quick, quick. Where's the depot? Line one. There we go. So line one, we'll just uh, we'll just rename that to the truck Beverly Food. There we go. Lovely. Now, what are we doing about these buses? So hang on, hang on, hang on. So King Street Mill Road, uh, Mill Road. No, hang on. Mill. I'm confused. King Street. All oh, right, there we go. Mill Road. No, that needs to go there, doesn't it? There we go. Yes, right, okay, that's better. And then we need uh, some mill after Mill Road on the way there. Yeah. Broadway. And then before Mill Road. Lovely. Right, that's better. I don't know why you decided to... Um, we've got two stops called Broadway now. How bizarre. <laughs> very, very odd. Uh, we've got enough to fill the train, so that's good. Oop, right, we'll just zoom out a little bit. I think, are we using the exact same trains that we were using before? I think we are, aren't we? That are pulling the logs over there. I, I imagine we have. I imagine we are. I mean, this is a very flat route. You can't deny this is a flat route. Oh, that bridge. Oh, lovely. Get repaying a bit of low. Obviously, the more we fly up and down here, the uh, the more money we're going to be making. Oh, lovely. Now, when we've got enough, in fact, we, we might have enough now, I'm actually going to extend over to, uh, to Hornsey. There we go. We'll build that straight so that it's... Oh, hang on. 129,000. There we go, we'll borrow that. Lovely. Straight to Hornsey. And we want another uh, another doodad, don't we? Put that next to the grain. That's not going to be transporting grain, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and then, of course, we want that on there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, hang on, where are we? There. I don't know why all the lines are in black and white. <laughs> they never used to be. Who knows? Uh, right, truck... On sea food. Now the train is never going to be full coming back. It's just not going to be full. But that's fine. Right, hang on, we'll uh, we'll stick you 
Put you there. On seafood. It's never going to be full because obviously it, it can't take more back because it needs two of the, the doodars. So, you know, these trucks, I don't know how much they're going to do, but any profit coming back the other way is more than, uh, than what we would make if we didn't have that. You know what I mean? So every bit of profit we do take is a blessing. Now, we've taken 60 and there's already 74 waiting, so I think a bit of double tracking could be necessary. But again, we'll, we'll leave it on fast forward. How much is this going to make, I wonder? I mean, we're in the negative again, which is not good. Not good at all. Come on, we could do with like 500,000 per delivery. I mean, that's what we want, isn't it? 500,000 per delivery would be laughing. Problem is, is this only makes 30 items of food. Which, I mean, oh, 671 grand, look at that! Oh, we can pay a million off the loan. See, ideally, we want to be loanless, don't we, really? Why does it look like my wagons are on fire? <laughs> oh dear. Flying back across the river. Those water textures are gorgeous. I, I really like it since the update. So many of the textures are brilliant. It just looks so much more refined, doesn't it? Have we got anything on to bring back? No, we haven't. Okay. Well, we're taking another 60 items of grain. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're uh, we're gonna. I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna after the field. Extend that like that. There we go. Seventy. Seventy will do. I can't imagine we're gonna have freight trains doing seventy for a good many years yet. There we go. Stick you on there. Lovely. Again, 70 will suffice if we can. There we go, bit of 70. One way, one, and where's the other one? Two. Now, how much is this train? This train is more than we can afford. I mean, we know that, don't we? So if we can uh, just wait for that to do a few more little deliveries. <coughs> so the yearly target is 1,700. Cause that's what we were uh, that's the most we made it was a couple of years ago i think it was 1860 wasn't it that we made 1700 so we're going to beat that obviously the investments there i mean that's already at 1300 isn't it because uh, we've already made some investments so i reckon this is going to be a record year oh lovely can we uh, can we have Clone train? No, we've not made enough yet. But we have got seven items of food on. Which is good stuff, folks. Can we clone it now? We've got two million. No. Okay, maybe another delivery is necessary. Of course, we're not doing an awful lot of stuff with passengers yet, are we? Passengers are, um, are a priority. We do want to obviously have lots of passenger trains running up and down because we've got so many areas to connect. Actually, if you notice in the bottom corner, I do have the timetable mod, and I was playing about with timetables in a personal save. Uh, I'm not very good at timetabling, which is why I'm not a train planner, uh, as my career, but, uh, you know, it was quite good fun to have a play around with, and I'm hoping we'll be able to do something like that in this series. That'd be great. See, that's made 80 grand, and that's 80 grand that, I mean, the train needs to come back anyway, doesn't it? So it wouldn't have made that 80 grand, so I'm, I'm happy. I'm really happy. Going back again. Yeah, I'm hoping we can have a little fiddle about with timetables in this series at some point. There's quite a bit of bread waiting there, but there's also bread for us. 15 breads, which is double what we took last time, because last time we took 7, didn't we? Not enough money. I'm hoping we will have enough money when we arrive and drop our, uh, drop our grain off. Come on. Let's be having you. 
Problem is, is we're going to do this, and then we're going to need more trucks on, because we won't have enough trucks. I mean, we don't have enough trucks as it is. Not enough money. How can there not be enough money? What are you playing at? Come on, logs. Make a delivery. Nearly. Mama needs a new tray. Come on. I don't know how much that makes every time. I don't think it's that much, is it? Oh, it's still not enough. How can you not have enough? That's ridiculous. It's going to get to the point where Beverly is, uh, is full of food. They actually don't need the food that we're bringing them. That'll be bad because the supply chain will slow down. Wow, we've got 19 bits of food. How much is 19 bits of food going to pay, please? 214 grand. Flipping heck, it's expensive food, isn't it, in this place? You think there's a cost of living crisis in the UK? I mean, the flipping is in East Yorkshire at, uh, at this... at these uh, prices. So if we had 19 loaves of bread... 214,000 divided by 19 loaves of bread. That is £11,263 for loaves of bread. That, that's a lot of money for a loaf of bread. I'm imagining that it's like boxes of food, but even so, you can't fit that many loaves in a box. Perhaps we're overthinking this a little bit. Come on, train. Come on. Yeah, we, we need more trucks. That is a definite. It's not up for discussion. Especially after this train makes this delivery. And we end up with... No, 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 no. How is that possible? It's, it's just not possible. Right, well, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to make more money quicker. Steam. Yep. The bloomer. Yep, get the bloomer. Cargo. How many can we afford? So we can afford to do 50. Right, get it, get it done. Look at that. Two trains. Two trains are better than one train. twice the output and actually if you look at our trucks are they struggling nah they can carry four each they're not going to be struggling they might be after there's two trains in the circuit but uh oh no there's a new train oh there's loads of new trains god no good no good there's always new trains after you've just bought one isn't there it's always the way that. Two trains on the circuit. This is gonna... I mean, we've got 254 items of grain waiting. We've got lots of items of grain here. Can we... We can add two in. There we go. Now we've got 60 on each side. That's that's good going. Oh, hang on. That's not what I meant to do. Another full load coming, uh, coming our way. grand. Oh, why do I keep doing that? Because I'm trying to get rid of that menu, but it doesn't work like that, does it? Right, we're going to need more lorries. Yep. All of you. We can't afford all of you. That, oh, that's soul destroying. We're going to get to a point in this game eventually where we just have that much money, we do not know what to do with it. But until that day comes, <laughs> we're going to have to uh, gonna just have to accept we can't afford to do what we want when we want. I don't know that all the lines are black and white as well. I sort of feel a bit like a dog. Just the world through black and white. Right, you've got ten vehicles on now. You are also going to have another five, because, you know, I'm, I'm feeling a bit generous. Also, because, you know, it's sort of filling up. Sort of. Right, okie dokie. Well, while that is doing what it's doing... I think it would be uh, it would be the right thing. Maybe we can get both of these done. Okay, who am I kidding? We can't get them both done today. We're not going to have enough time. But we can make a start. Uh, what have I got on the old goods uh, in terms of the speed limit? Uh, did, did we... Uh, ah, 30. Right, so we'll do a bit of 30 on the other end. Look at that. Bit of, bit of that. And then 75... 
I'll tell you what, we'll go with 60. There we go. Bit of 60. Yeah, lovely. Just keep going. And then where are we go? We're going down through Ghoul and across like that. Right, okay. That's not okay. Right. I mean, obviously, we're going to have to... We're going to try and stick to the ground as much as possible. Bit of 60. Right, okay. Ideally, I mean, we've, we've, if you look, we've got just over a million, just under a million, just over a million. <laughs> Stop going up and down. Right, we're going to whiz across here like that. Look at that. Oh, heck, we're actually quite high there. That's quite interesting. I'm, I'm happy with that because it's going to mean we've got a nice bridge to look at. Now, uh, in terms of we could have a viaduct. Ooh, yeah, look at that. That's nice. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Right. Something must have made a delivery. Uh, right. Okay. I'm going to put that there. And there's a reason I'm going to put that there. Because this can be the site if we do. I mean, no, as I say, if we do. When we go into Passenger, this can be the site of Ghoul Station. Do you like that? I, I think that's quite a good idea. Nice little bridge there. Just to get us over the road. What about a bit of a uh, bit of that? Ooh, no, because nothing taller than uh, a six-foot person will get under there, will they? That's better. But we've already had the green one. Let's let's have something a bit different. See, I like this, but it's not tall. <laughs> it's too tall. What about what about that? Is is that going to reach the ground? It reaches the ground. Oh, that is beautiful. Let's have a bit of that. I've never used one of these bridges before because it never reaches the ground. Oh, it doesn't reach the ground there, does it? But it does everywhere else, so that's that's okay. It's not floating anywhere. That's almost floating, but we'll forgive it. Can we... We can refund that. There we go. Look at that. Right, now, I would like... I'm going to use two tracks for this, because obviously we know that we're going to want another train going the other way, aren't we, with machines. So we're going to use two tracks, although what I'm going to do is I'm going to use three tracks. Because then, we can have this going to here. No, no, not, not there. The one next door. Ah, lovely. Straight down like that, and it just sort of looks a bit, looks a bit nicer, doesn't it? When you can get the uh, the track all, it, it looks a bit more realistic. So what we're going to do is we're going to have you as like a 30. It's a bit Trafford Park, isn't it? Some of you there thinking, what on earth is Trafford Park? Well, I shall tell you what Trafford Park is. It's, uh, it's a terminal, a Freightliner terminal. That can be 25. We'll, uh, we'll stick that as 25. And then that can go over at 30. Again, like that. Lovely. I'm, I'm happy with that. I honestly didn't think we'd get there. In uh, in one day. Right, auto said yes. Why has it not done it? Why has it not done it? Excuse me. It's, I, I think there's a there's a small problem with the auto sigging. There we go. Right, we've got auto signals. I'm going to put another one on there. Yep. Yeah. Boom. And it's done it all the way back again. Lovely. Except I don't need you. I'll keep you. That'll do. Right, okie dokie. I am going to put one in here, though. Oh, one way, yeah, auto signal, no. That'll do. So, we're going to have uh, a new route. Oof, exciting. So, the new route is going to take planks from there, platform two, all the way down to the tools factory in Snaith. Now, that is going to go platform one for the tools. However, 
uh, it could use two and three. We're going to have this as like a, a station where anything can use anything. Because, you know, that's that's good, isn't it? Uh, yes. Right. Line one. So that can be uh, train snake planks. And then obviously we need a train that goes down to here. But I think we can do that next time, because next time what we're going to do is we're going to work on a passenger line. We've got some freight. It is earning us a small fortune now. What I am going to do as well while we're here is Snaith Planks is going in on that platform. But it can also go in on platform one. And uh, I want the market weight and lumber to also use two as well. So uh, in the event that their platform is taken, they'll just use a different one. It's just so much more efficient, isn't it? Now, uh, in terms of our Steam Loco, let's have a look. So the LNWR Mega Pack is obviously something we want to look at, isn't it? Uh, so what have we got? Have we got something that can pull heavier freight? I'm just purely looking at the amount of horsepowerage. Two, two, yeah, okay. I mean, that is 250 and it can do 60. But then we may as well have 294 that can do 71. That would make sense. Although, to be fair, shall we just stick with the bloomer? It's what we've got a fleet of, isn't it? Uh, now, what do we want? So we want planks. Cargo wagons. Have we got uh, something that can just do planks exclusively? There we go. That's flatbed. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 60. That'll do. We can't fit 60 on the train. No, sorry, that's a lie. We can fit 60 on the train. We can't fit that amount in the bank account, but we can now. Right, go, 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 go. Snaith planks. He's off. He's off. Are we going to get some planks? Oh, no, we're not. So there's none stored. But it's fine. Right, okay, I'm going to start making a repayment on that loan. And, uh, oh, hang on, why, why have you gone on there? Are you going straight to Snith? Why not stop here? How bizarre. How bizarre. I mean, he's just going to, yeah, that's, that's going to start making planks and you're going there completely empty. For goodness sake. Hang on, why are you stopping there now? This is ludicrous. I don't, I don't know anymore. I mean, hopefully we are. I mean, there's there's a lot of logs waiting. Hopefully we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be making enough planks. I mean, that's already got nearly thirty, so we might need more than one train. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Again, when we've got a station in there, that's gonna look awesome, isn't it? Absolutely awesome. And that's not as low as what I imagined. They're just We just need to remember not to run a double-decker bus to the uh, to the steel place. Oh dear. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for us to have some passenger trains running past this. I don't imagine that the... Uh, the Where's that? Snaith. Of course it's Snaith. Oh yeah, it didn't make any money. It's not been carrying any, uh, any cargo. Of course it's not going to make money. I don't imagine the Snaith branch, which is going to be a line from Hull... Uh, I don't imagine that that is going to be the busiest of lines. I mean, it might be. It might be an absolute commuter line. We might end up with electric trains running up and down it. You just never know, do you? I don't imagine it will be. Happy to be proved wrong. There we go. Uh, it is, of course, one of those towns that doesn't accept anything, uh, cargo-wise, so it's probably not going to grow that quick. But Ghoul is, so we could... Uh, oh, we could actually bring food down to Ghoul. Ooh. And ideas farming now, so we could take tools from there to there, and then food from there to there. So that train, I nearly said truck, that train can make money in both directions. Oh, well, do you know what? We might be actually putting some freight in in the next episode. No, who am I kidding? What we're going to be doing in the next episode is we are going to be putting in our uh, autosaves already planning for it. Look, he's, uh, he's on it. Yeah, we're going to be... Uh, come on, click the flipping thing. 
Click it. There we go. Uh, we're going to be putting in a new passenger line from Hull. I'm going to aim for our first passenger line to be a realistic line that runs to Selby. Uh, just for, you know, because we can. Why not? Look at that. It's full. Oh, beautiful. Uh, yeah, I'm going to aim for our first passenger line to be the real line that goes to Selby. Uh, but then uh, we might look at a real line up to Driffield. And then everything else from there is pretty much fictional. So, uh, yeah. Do, uh, do remember to subscribe if you haven't already, because, uh, I mean, I've already told you what we're doing next time, and that is too exciting to miss, folks. Uh, do, of course, if you have enjoyed the video, click that like button. It's always appreciated, and uh, it's the best way to make sure you don't miss out. No, hang on, I'm, what am I saying? That's subscribing, you blithering idiot. Yes! <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching, and, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.